Hey, it's me again. I'm doing a reading on the full moon coming up um, June, no, January 25th, so that would be tomorrow. So let's see what the message is need to hear this time. Let me start with the uh, Angels and Ancestors Oracle and see what I have to say. So you have the Hermit, uh, that would be number nine, Virgo. So retreat and recharge. Ooh, the High Priest or the hair font. Number five, uh, that's an angel and there's an owl there or a falcon. So intend and create. So you have uh, the Hermit and the hair font, number nine and number five. Ooh, and you have an animal guardian. Trust your instincts. So trust your intuition. Even if they don't make sense, just trust them because they will make sense when they're supposed to. And you have the medicine mother. Honor your inner knowing, your instincts, your intuition. Trust it. Okay. So you have she wolf. And that's very appropriate because you have the wolf full moon coming up tomorrow. So unleash the wild within. Look at that. Look at that. During the full moon. <laughs> and eagle. Oh my god, you have the wolf and the eagle. See from a higher perspective. Water guardian. Kind of connect with your emotions. So that would be the Queen of Cups, water sign. And Shaman, trust in higher forces. Yeah, trust in the universe. Trust in your intuition. Trust your guidance. That's what I'm hearing. Yep, so you need to retreat and recharge. Trust in her higher forces. Connect with your emotions. See from a higher perspective and unleash the wild within. So let's see what they have to say to you at this time. So you have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Cups, Scorpio, War Sign, um, number 13. And you have the Three of Swords Reverse, so healing your broken heart. Or healing. Any type of damage that's been done to you. And you have the Tower, Aries, Destruction. And the Eight of Swords Reversed to Freedom. Yeah, you're the prize. You're the devil reverse. So yeah, when the devil is reversed, number 15, that's God. That becomes uh, the source of positivity, positivity. So you go from the source of negativity to the source of positivity. Eight of cups. You're walking away. You're moving on. Because you want more than eight cups. You want to be happy. You want all ten cups. Knight of Swords, so yeah, help us coming in. Archangel Michael. Death, yes. Anything toxic that is not supporting you will be put to an end. So whatever that means, death, it just means it's an ending to something. That's Scorpio. Star, you're guided. Yes, you're guided. Your guidance. That's your intuition. So follow your guidance. Follow your intuition. Trust your intuition. Trust your instincts. And the Two of Cups, a mutual connection. Page of Swords. So you're being watched. The world. Yeah, this Capricorn. Uh, number 21, completion. And the Four of Cups. You want more than Four of Cups? You want to be happy. Right, so that's what I'm hearing. Um, let's see. So let me go ahead and wrap this up. All right. 
so these are the messages that you need to hear this time. Know what the source of negativity is so that you will know the source of positivity. That's the devil in reverse. So that's Capricorn, number uh, 15. And then trust your guidance, your intuition. That's the star, Aquarius, number 17. Scorpio, death, number 13. And the world, number 21, Capricorn. Okay, so if you want to complete this uh, journey, this assignment, this mission, you need to put an end to anything that doesn't support you. You need to trust your guidance, your intuition, and you need to know what the source of positivity is. All right, so I hope I helped you in some way, and I will talk to you again soon.